Hello folks and welcome to a vlog that wasn't supposed to be happening but these lot are insisting that we do it. It's actually only the 27th, it's Wednesday. <laughs> um, Andy has already been taken to his respite care today. He's up in Boston doing that. We are taking advantage of one of our Christmas presents that we got off my brother, which was a voucher for a dinner. Uh, one of the places we can go to dinner is Nando's. These two wanted to come out as well though. The best thing about this trip though is the fact that nobody else is dressed for the winter. I've got my thermals on, my gloves, my hat, my scarf. These lot are basically dressed so like it's March. They're crazy. But we're in the centre of Peterborough and we just wanted to show you all the pretty lights and stuff which is why we've got the camera out. So I guess this officially becomes a vlog now. Our trip to Nando's at the end of the day. But there's the tree that you saw in the background in daylight earlier in the month. They're pretty lights all around the city centre as well. It all looks very pretty, very pleasant. Are you not cold? Yeah. You should get some gloves or scarves or stuff. Let's go in, please. Oh, you should wear them then. They're very effective at keeping hands warm. Nando's consumed. That place is absolutely heaving now. We just walked straight in when we got there. They're queuing out the door at this point. Well, queuing to the door, not quite out of the door. Mad, crazy busy. Delicious though. Well, this lot are all complaining about mouth problems, so I'm the only one who got to eat it all and enjoy it. I enjoyed it, it just hurts. I'm absolutely stuffed because I had to finish, Lucy, my had to finish Lucy's hurt. chicken and Amy's chips. My mouth only hurts because so I bit my tongue. I've had like two, two thirds of a chicken, two portions of chips and some garlic bread, so I'm a little bit broken at this point. Really? I'm really full. I can eat it again. Oh, I couldn't. I'm absolutely stuffed. I can you eat had that two chicken again. breasts. <laughs> You're a monster. The plan now is we need to go to Asda because Amy got some pajamas for Christmas and they're too small for her. My vote is we walk up this picturesque little street because Asda's at the end of this. And this lot, this lot of all insisting that we, we that we drive there because they're lazy. So we're going back to get the car. Lucy, there's a cafe bar in Peterborough now. Why is that a thing? I don't understand. Because the first time I noticed it, I said it to her and she got annoyed. So now every time we go past, I say it to her and she gets more and more annoyed. Um, we have to go to the one over there, hey, Lucy. Or well, we can't get by now. We're going to Tesco. No, we're going to Tesco as well. It's like a river. Um, I don't know if you could hear. All we can hear at the moment is these two squabbling with each other. Have you not seen on the... Do you two want to shut up while we're recording? It's not a river, What do you mean it's not a river? The car park is flooded. Yes. Oh right. <laughs> um, yeah, new, new phenomenon. I don't know if you heard it a minute ago. Um, because it's the 27th of December, rather than people assuming I'm a weirdo internet vlogging person, there was a person who just walked past who was saying, new camera, definitely a new camera. You got a new ca No, it's not a new camera. It's a camera I've had for ages. I'd like a new camera. But what are you talking about? Why do people care about your camera? I don't know. As in, why are you telling a vlog this story? It's not very interesting. It's more interesting than you two talking about whether a car park was flooded and we've got 10 minutes to film. What are we talking about? Well, that all stopped very abruptly last night, didn't it? Um, in a slight change of plan to how we normally do these things, because we spread one day out over three days of vlog earlier in the week, so that we can get caught back up again before the weekend so that we have our New Year's Eve party hit the channel on New Year's Day. We're now gonna squash together, <laughs> and it's gonna get me to shut the door because it's cold. We're now gonna squash together three days of life into one vlog, this vlog. There's not really anything gonna be happening today, as we said, when we were mooching around outside Nando's last night. Um, Andy's at his respite care at the moment. We took him over there yesterday. The girls have gone back to their mums this morning, so, they're not here. Me and Anna are just kind of going to sit around and do nothing, I think. We very, very rarely get to sit around and do nothing. So she's got a game on. I'm going to read some comics. And that will probably be our story of Thursday. I think it's Thursday. So unless something spectacular happens, I imagine the next time you see us, it will be Friday. We'll probably be in Boston, probably at the stump, having picked Andy up from his respite care. Anything fun going to happen in between? Hey, none of this not seeing you till tomorrow nonsense. We're out on an adventure to the Holy Trinity, the greatest row of shops in the history of the world. You've met them before. B&M Smiths and The Range. We're supposed to be on our way out doing our food shopping and getting stuff in for our New Year's Eve party. But we took a wrong turn on the way here and accidentally <laughs> ended up at my favourite row of shops. 
completely accidentally. So we're gonna have a look in these and Anna's gonna buy me some wrestlers. Yeah, she is. Your man from Star Trek's been made into a dog toy. The world of wrestling figures is forever trolling me. I spent all that time looking for a Roman Reigns figure. Not only do they now have multiple of them in there, but the one figure I wanted today was Rusev. And the only one they had was in a two wrestler battle pack with Roman Reigns. Well, our little trip to these shops is complete. We didn't get anything fun. All we got was some cheap pop and a picture frame. Da teetering dangerous, dangerously close to adulthood with purchases like that. But luckily we can make up for it because we're now heading to the supermarket, which is just over the other side of town a bit. And I'm getting involved in food shopping. I'm not normally allowed to be involved in food shopping because I make notoriously poor choices. But as part of this week's food shop, not only do we only have to buy half a week's food, because we're already halfway through the week, with the same budget, but also we have a New Year's Eve party to cater for. So, for once, my poor choices are going to come in handy. Oh, no, 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 no. What? You're still going to be monitoring what you buy. <sighs> That's what £100 worth of food looks like. My, I'd say, what, 50% party food, 50% food for the week? Um, lots of toilet roll, so we don't have to steal napkins from my dad anymore. And uh, these, we haven't seen these for years. I don't know whereabouts, wherever you are in the world, whether these exist, whether these are easier to find. We haven't seen these for a long time. And they're on offer, and we're going to eat these in the car on the way home, all 18 of them. But that, I think, was a successful shopping trip, and now we re really will disappear and see you again tomorrow. So I don't think there's anything else we particularly need to... We're Talk lasagna. about today. We're having lasagna for tea. And can I point out as well how much we're using the little camera today? How much better this camera is? It's dark. <laughs> how much better it is in low light? That is just amazing. When we use the big camera in low light, you can't see me at all. So, so we might switch back to this for vlogging. Mm. Maybe. Perfect. Yeah, we need a new one mm. or fix this one. Mm. But we will see you tomorrow when we're probably going to be picking up and well we're definitely picking him up yes uh, it's actually no, we're not picking him up tomorrow is that tomorrow yeah did we take him today or yes i'm so this whole not working thing has pickled my brain One it really more has night, so we've got tomorrow night we get the same bed till whenever lunch time sounds good to me we will see you in about 10 seconds which will be tomorrow and then it was friday afternoon and andy i always called him rupert that's what we call him when the camera's not on <laughs> and andy was returned um, his real name is Andy, he's actually called Rupert and working under a stage name. She used to call him Rue, I made it Rupert. It's a long story. Anyway, <laughs> he's back, we're here in Boston, going to the stump. The you know the drill, yeah. Sunset stump. I would have liked to have had the drone with me to show a droney sunset thing. Would have been cool. Well this, this is a new experience. Because we're here on a Friday rather than a Sunday. I just assumed it was always open, but for the first time we're wandering up to the stump and it looks like the gate's locked and it's closed. It's only like three o'clock in Andy's favour. He did straight away say, oh, it's closed and tried to walk away, but we're just going to have a look to see what it says on the sign. Um, yeah, it just doesn't look like they're open. Oh, there you go, it's got their opening times. Um, so, they're, yeah, they're closed all week this week between Christmas and New Year. You would think this would be the busiest time of the year for a church, but apparently not. He seems absolutely fine about it though, which is awesome. Andy, put Is that good? Not going in. No, because the no, church is closed. Let's see if there's any bells in a few minutes. There we go, really. that was his alternative treat, getting to use an actual cash machine. Um, but now I think we're just going to go back to the car. Just pay for two hours of parking. 
don't come to Boston on a weekday, everybody. We do have to go to B&M though, don't we? Because yeah, we we've, and eat. yeah, the reason we have to go to B&M, we've had a little bit of a disaster. If you recall on our Christmas videos, you may have noticed a few of them over the last week or so. We said a couple of his presents, we were gonna give him at a later date. One of them hadn't arrived yet. Well, the one that hadn't arrived was one of those coin pusher 2P machine things that you get at the seaside. Cause he loves them. So we ordered one off Amazon a couple of weeks before Christmas, but it was one of those ones from a third party seller and it, I mean it said it would come at some point between Christmas and New Year we checked on it today and it's showing us the order is cancelled and they're now completely out of stock on Amazon and they don't have anything else like it on there but when we were in B&M yesterday we saw a board game for the TV show Tipping Point which has a coin pusher as part of it that's the whole point of the quiz show so we're now going to try a different B&M this one here to see if they have that same copy of that game and if they do he still gets his coin pusher. If not, we have to think up an extra present for him. Definitely doesn't even seem to be any bells behind us either. Success! The exact thing that he wanted. This is actually what he wanted rather than the coin pusher thing. He wanted a tipping point game. We didn't know it existed. So we've actually upgraded his present, which is good. And also, because it's at post Christmas, it was on discount. So we've let him pick how to spend the extra. And of course, what he's bought himself with the leftovers. He could have picked anything in the entire shop. He has two ATMs now. <sighs> there you go. If you are in the UK and anywhere near a B&M, I would suggest you check it out this week as well because they are massively discounting loads of stuff. This isn't a paid ad spot, but these are some good deals. 15 quid for a decent board game. This ATM, seven quid. You don't want to know how much we paid for the one that we got him. It was a lot more than seven quid though. A magic eight ball for a pound. Um, a colour changing Super Mario Brothers mug that goes from black to blue when you put heat in it. Um, Two pound fifty, that's for Anna, because I've got more mugs than her. And a little Marvel Comics wash bag. Um, with soap and stuff in it, I didn't. I don't even want the innards. I just wanted the bag when we go away at conventions and stuff. That was a fiver, and comes with body wash, moisturiser, and hair gel. I now have superhero hair gel. Expect me to look like Superman next time you see me. But that whole little haul, including the crisps and batteries for everything, just cost us less than twenty-five quid. Which doesn't seem like it adds up properly, but it does. And it's awesome. And now for the final part of his well done for going to respite trip. And sorry we couldn't get in the church deal. We're off to McDonald's where he's going to pick himself a dinner. And he's just giving Dave his leftover burgers from his buns that he had. Dave likes a burger and he doesn't. Um, we are home and we are going to leave it there on this multi-part three day vlog. Um, it's not quite going back to normal tomorrow either. There's going to be something a little bit different tomorrow and then we should be back to normal again the day after. So hopefully these last four or five days of vlogs being a little bit weird and a little bit different have been okay. I don't know what's going on behind me. It's very odd. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on thumbs there up. for us. Subscribe to the channel for Thank more you. daily vlogs. And what? Thank you very much for watching. What he said. Oh. Is he doing the outro music for us?